Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to you 4 as Portugal. We are continuing our Navigator run. When we last left off, we had just taken Tangiers. We're going to core it now, and then everything should hopefully work out for the best. Probably, maybe. Probably, maybe. Oh, geez. Now the clergy's not happy. When the heck did that happen? Probably always been a thing, and I just wasn't paying attention. The nobles are still kind of mad about life, and they will probably can- Oh, dear god, now the clergy is over the limit. Right, we've got all kinds of troubles going for us. Let's see here, so... 54, 74, 64... Yeah, this is... This is not gonna be an easy time to be alive, if I'm being honest with you. We'll pay those extra ducats. We'll also build ourselves uh, this trade building -y thing here, because that should kind of slow down some of our financial woes that we might otherwise have when we're looking at... Oh, actually, good. The whole, uh... whole, uh... apparent problem with the nobles has disappeared completely. For now. For now. But now it's... No, it actually didn't come back. Excellent. Okay, so it's now just the clergy that we have to worry about. But I'm sure it'll probably solve itself over time, and we don't have anything to worry about, and it'll be great. We have Morocco Pretender. What? Why is this even counting as, like, something that's actively my problem? Like, totally not my problem. Not even a little bit. Would you like to be my ally? I could totally probably pull that off. We'll suck up to Pope Man again, because why not? Pope Man's a good friend. More or less. Alright. That went away. Uh, I'm gonna grant the New World Charter, like, right now, just to make sure that we don't forget to do that, because that is actually kind of an important thing. And, yeah, then we'll just kind of continue hanging out here until we get our... Oh, there it is. Nice. Alright, so we get our colonists, and we're gonna go for, like, the whole native oppression policy, because it speeds up things quite a bit. Then we'll go ahead and colonize the Bay of Arguin here. I can click on it. Because there's no one there. It's actually the farthest we can reach, so... Makes sense to go for that first. And then, I don't even think we're going to go for any technology. We're just going to try to fill out the exploration tree as much as we possibly can. And kind of hope that things somehow work themselves out from there. Incidentally, let's have a look at things here. We've got this. Oh, I didn't humiliate a rival. Shucks, should have done that. That would have been a good idea. Don't really need to do that anymore. Don't really need to worry about that. Diplo is the one thing that we still need a lot of. We won't really touch that. Then again, let's look at technology. Does technology do anything important to us? Gain some base tax? Sure, why not? Let's see. Trade range, trade efficiency. Eh, it's not really that important. Probably. Mostly. Might actually be really important, and I'm just... Completely undervaluing it. Oh dear. Pretty sure a lot of this should go away once we core up. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Just to minimize risk. Because I don't really like risk. I like the fact that Morocco is totally falling apart over here though. That's good. It means we could have really dragged things out a little bit more. Possibly. Now we've got over here more pretender rebels. There's been like five different pretender rebels. We're still losing money? Dang. What an age to be alive in, huh? Oh, we have to sit here and... Oh, you know where... Yeah, it's because we've got this whole colony. But the, the real... The real difficulty here is that we've got to wait until it finishes before we can actually do anything. Like, we keep... Like, the colony alone, just by existing, doesn't increase our colony range. Which is kind of weird, kind of unfortunate. I thought it did, to be honest with you, for the longest time, but it's actually interesting to find out I was wrong all this long time. Why am I going to war or allying the Pope? No particular reason other than I'm not going to join their offensive wars. Mostly because I, I don't care about favors. I just want to have the Pope like me so we can possibly get some extra Pope points. Thus allowing us to do more Pope-related activities. And thus... Ah, no. We're a babbling buffoon. Oh, sweet, we got free money from someone. Didn't really pay attention to who gave it to us, but we got it. We got our extra points. That's pretty sweet. 
colonize Arguin. Isn't that what we're doing? No, Arguin is right here. But we probably totally want to colonize that because that would increase our our um, settler rate, which is also very, very important. So, hmm, am I, I, I don't really feel like I'm making enough. Yeah, I'm totally not making enough to be able to afford that. But, uh, yeah, we could make it work, probably, maybe, possibly. Yeah, we probably want to do that as well, increase our income a little bit. Portuguese colonial grope, grope, growth, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, also do this. There we go. And, actually, yeah, I'll just kind of dunk everything into that. There we go. We'll pick up the Renaissance. We're not really planning on teching up anymore. Well, we might in order to keep up with the African colonies that we may have to fight at some point. But overall, I'm, ooh, there we go. Now the money is coming in. That's what I like to see. Now we're making the real moolash, which is pretty good. Oh, sweet, we have more active colonists, and by colonists, I mean cardinals. Is there anything I want to do here in order to... I don't really know if any of these really matter that much to me. I mean, 50 papal influence for a tax modifier, that doesn't sound very useful. See, we have hardy seamen. That's always good. Always one hardy seamen. Uh, England, blah, blah, blah. They're doing some stuff over there. You know what? I'm also not going to join England's defensive wars or offensive wars. Ah, eh, maybe I will. Might want to have them on my side for stuff. Never know. It's always good to be careful. We're not even one of the great powers, that's sad. Yeah. Oh well, that's life. Not too worried about it. Though if somehow... Okay, so if their heir dies before, and like they don't have another heir, then we totally... Oh, that's actually a really good heir. I really hope he dies though, so that we can get a personal union over Castile. Not that it matters, but it would be pretty sweet. In my opinion. I'd like that. Oh yeah, we have a... We should probably hire like a new explorer or something. Because, you know, we kind of... Kind of need to be able to see stuff. But anyway, so 459. We're actually making good progress here. Only 50 a year, though. Alright, you know what? We are going to actually... We're gonna colonize Arguin here. It's gonna cost us a lot of money. But I'm not that concerned about potentially going into debt, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, this will actually increase our colonial range, which will really make things go swimming. Swimmingly. Quite swimmingly, in fact, one might say. Alright, let's uh, send our best and brightest over there. We're gonna be losing money after this. But, uh... Probably for the best. We also probably want to move this up a little bit. And we'll just kind of... We'll wait for the colony to establish itself. There we go. I mean, every little bit counts, man. Okay, so after a little bit of uh, just taking our time here off camera just to kind of rush through the colonizing part, what do we got here? The Pope is coming to their aid in the Venetian... You know what? Nope. Sorry, Pope man. I do not want to get messed up in that. Anyway, we're also... It also occurred to me that, yeah, I could have gained some more points a little faster with this whole Discover America thing, so we're gonna go do that now. But we're now gaining, like, 115 people a year. Uh, we are losing a fair bit of money, though. So that's kind of unfortunate, but uh, these colonies should actually, hilariously enough, more or less end up finishing at the same time. Might have not been the best idea. When do I get to turn this off? 64. 11th of November, 64. A very good year indeed. Maybe I should just, like, group these people back together. I don't know. I don't really care. I took out one loan in order to make all this work. It's crazy, man. Everything is going topsy-turvy and tipsy-topsy and so on and so forth. Alright. Let's continue the exploration. We'll go ahead and make sure we've discovered America, and then we'll discover the coast of the various uh, people down here. Actually, what I'd really like to do is make sure we hop down directly into 
like St. Helena, I believe it is, because there's no one living there, which will make our life that much easier. And an easy life is a happy life. Okay, good. They'll not be getting Ottoman intervention, which is good for me. West Africa Sea, let's keep that going. We've, yeah, we've got some more stuff here. We can even start a golden era, so why not? Uh, let's see here. Nope. Don't care about you that much. There we go. Golden era. Everyone's happy. States demand control of more land, but we don't want... We don't want these guys to get out of control here. Oh, then again, I can actually give their land back, and it shouldn't cause too much problem. Right, it was this. There we go. Give that back to the clergy. Everyone will be happy. And the whole thing should expire and end up being safe and sound. Really? There's still... I wasn't able to... Exp really? Can't explore any further than this, apparently. That's unfortunate. But I will be able to once this finishes colonizing. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Is Do I really not have any more... any further range? Maybe I do need some more Diplo stuff going on here. Maybe. Okay, and... Okay, it's not like the one day is really going to make that big of a difference, but... It feels like a big difference to me. Alright, so... Let's go ahead, continue that whole exploration dealy here. There we go, but before we do anything else, we of course naturally... Grant those Monopoly Charters. And... Establish that. What do I... Do I... How crazy do I get with this? Um, the answer is not that crazy. Alright, we'll... Oh, I don't even have the money for that, so not gonna happen. Okay. You'll be angry for a little bit, but you'll get over it. Call a diet. And by a diet, I mean a diet. That was probably unnecessarily risky there. Alright, you're angry too. Everyone's angry. Alright. Probably didn't need that. Probably should have waited. But uh, it didn't really matter that much to me anyway, so there we go. Alright, there we go. Good stuff. What is this? Oh, for the love of all that is good and holy, come on. Uh, no. I really don't care about you that much. Dang, that was... Totally, I totally had that coming to me though, didn't I? For my impudence, and my greed, etc, etc. Alright, so yeah, Colonial Range, it's all stacked together, which means we can keep exploring that delightful coast of uh, Africa. Excuse me, you said you had more to explore. There we go. West Africa Sea, let's keep going. Let's get this going, because we're gonna have this finish soon, and then this will finish, and... It's 65, man! We gotta be around the Horn of Africa and into... Asia. You know, snappy... Excuse me, snappy snappy here. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that just yet. I suppose... I'll just kind of chuck a couple of points into Porto there, because why not? Why not? Make me a little bit of extra money. Feels... alright. Maybe not the best play, actually. Okay, and that's done. Nice. Now what? Invert Seuda to Catholic. I could totally do that. This gives us more Diplo power, though, and that's pretty... Wait, wait, who is that mission for? Uh, Tunis. I hope Tunis is not the target here. Is Provence? Okay, yeah, I like Provence. Provence seems... Where is Provence? Provence almost doesn't exist anymore. That's totally fine. It's gonna be... It's gonna be okay. Everyone's angry at me. Oh, wow, the clergy is actually really angry. Good job, Gaslight. You have done some amazing things over there. Oh, right, right, we've got another exploration-y move to do here, so let's uh, go ahead, check out that coast, which should hopefully reveal one of these islands around here. Preferably the one down here. Or fervor, because, yeah, St. Helena is, like, all the way down here somewhere. Alright. Sao Tome, can't quite reach that. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to go to, like, the Cape Coast or the Gold Coast. Oh! didn't let me do anything because of this. Alright, let's recall that. And let's see here. Atlantic, South America, South Atlantic. Let There we go. Keep doing that. Before we commit to anything, 
Oh god, now we've possibly got some... God help us all. Oh dear. What is this? That's not good. We'll just kind of suppress them, because why not? We'll even boost our stability. That'll... that'll show them. Possibly. Probably won't show them anything. Alright, the... You guys are angry about life, as you always are. You're... don't really care about you, but you're doing your thing, so... It's alright. I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach down there. I want to check it out before I commit another colonist. Just to be safe. Gold is a sign of nobility. Ability cannot be bought. That'll also at least make these guys happier. Probably. And we've renewed our loan. Arguin is self-sustaining. Jolly good. Oh boy. Maybe I should just go ahead and... Alright, you know what? I, I feel like I can't wait. Which, you know, impatience is a sin. But... Alright, let's, uh... Let's do that. And we'll, uh, send our boys down... Down to the Gold Coast. Yeah, you know what? I mean, I look at this and I think to myself, surely I wouldn't be able to reach St. Helena anyway, so... I'm probably not missing anything. I hope I'm not missing anything. If... So if I could, but if uh, hit up St. Helena from here, then that would have been good. Conquer against Castile, I'm not really worried about that. Rocco's declaring a war. Let's see here. Priest, yeah, I wouldn't be able to reach it anyway. Okay. I mean, what if I declared war on Congo? And declaring a war against Congo might actually be important. It might not be. Like, it might be completely unnecessary, but I feel it might be a good idea just to, you know, speed things up and make sure that we get down there. Because, again, it doesn't seem like it's going to take that long, but we don't have to finish the colonies. That's another important distinction here. We just need a colony. I don't know if uh, doing this is really going to do anything particularly for me, but I just figure, good enough. Oh, sweet. Got some extra uh, papal points there as well. So if we wait a little bit, we'll be able to get some free stability, and that's cool. Alright, while we're waiting, because we can't really do anything else for the time being. Alright, got another idea here. Excellent. Even faster colonization. Because again, that's all we care about, really. There's no way we're going to get up there in time. Not even a little bit. Trading post in Angola. So anywhere in the Congo region. Sounds reasonable to me. That'll also increase our settler stuff. So, actually, if we conquered Congo, that would also work. Hmm. I don't really want to declare a war on them, though. Like, not when I can't... Not when I can't fabricate a claim. So difficult. Two of a kind, in a Diplo rep guy who's only like 50% cost, that will allow us to do this stuff even faster, so I'll take it. Plus we're making money again, so, you know, make hay while the sun shines and all that jazz. Seems reasonable. Pay back our loan, just so we don't have to worry about loan money anymore. Seems like a smart idea. Alright. Jolly good. All right, colonial range, bloody, bloody. And my hope, my hope actually is that our next jump will let us. Uh, well, I guess we got to go here, and then, like the big thing will be to make sure that we can attack in. Like we're gonna have to declare a no CB war, probably on. Like someone in, in what? What are we calling it? Madagascar. That like one island in that island, the crazy island nation that exists only in fairy tales, probably, where every time there's a disease outbreak, they immediately shut down everything. Oh my god, what the heck happened? What is going on over here? Wow. Good thing I didn't get involved in that war. That would have been a complete mess. Jolly good. Alright. So the idea, really, at this point, is we just... 
speed through things. You know, we're not really in a rush for anything. Tunis has declared me as a rival. I don't really care about them. I'm not even really concerned about anything except rushing around the core here. Dead on arrival. Oh. That's unfortunate. Oh, goodbye, brave explorer. We hardly knew ye. Actually, hang on a second. Can I, uh, just put a new explorer on you? I can. Which seems like a, a reasonable idea. We want to make sure that we're exploring as much as possible. Alright. And let's keep an eyeball on this. Oh god. Okay. Well. That happened. Good job, Gaslight. Just as I was remembering to take a look at it, then that happened. Good job. So what has this actually done? Like, as far as hurting us? Not much. This is, again, one of those situations where if... I, like, really cared about a long-term Cape Coast, huh? Where's Cape Coast? I mean, no. Anyway, like, if this was, like, a game where, like, I actually cared about long-term uh, survivability, then, yeah, I would probably be a little bummed out by this. But what do you want? You want 40%. Wow. Alright, I can totally see where this could end up being a problem. That's like, you know, all my land. That's gonna hurt our... our money stuff. What is their loyalty looking like right now? Only 49%. Let's see here. Diet held, ministers... Dang. It would've been so much simpler if I had just not, uh... not allowed any of that to happen. But I did, so now we have to deal with it. You know what, I'll just let them get angry. It's never one of those cases, I just don't care. Not a good attitude to have, but I really don't. Oh, sweet. Province that we can't really, or we're not really making any use of, but alright. Clergy gained some loyalty, that's good, so I guess we'll take it. Oh boy. Life is rough, man. But, again, I don't really care. And I'm sure it'll kind of play itself out, but that's where we're going to wrap up this episode, so until the next time... Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.